although possibly for the last time. Of course, it could always be for the last time. Um, this is what I prep my face with, the uh, Chiseled Face Natural Pre-Shave Gel. And my razor is going to be this three-piece, mostly Bakelite, Clix razor with the metal cap. In there on its first use will be a Sputnik blade. And my soap is going to be this Palmyra. It's a soap block, which I've uh, scraped some off into the Timeless Razor Shaving Bowl. I've got the Conversational Shaving Synthetic Brush by Frank Shaving. Let me go ahead and try to get a lather started. I hope you're all doing well out there. <sighs> yeah, I know I haven't done a video. I didn't do it my normal time this weekend and uh, I might not be doing as many in the foreseeable future. And uh, I'm sorry that I'm so dour this week. But uh, just in case, I uh, don't want to get too excited, although I still love this hobby. I uh, have had some things going on that have kind of... Uh, made me not a happy camper, and uh, I don't want to get into details about those because I don't really even know all of the details right now. Let me go ahead and get started. Let me rinse my razor. We'll start with pass number one with the grain. About two days worth of growth. A very mildly scented soap. It's a pleasant scent, but it's only about a one out of 10 for scent strength. Yeah, everything could be fine, but I don't know yet. I've got some things I need to take care of, and I'm sorry I can't go into more detail about them. They're personal things that kind of fall under under the word life, things that happen in life. And no, my health is okay physically, mentally and emotionally, I'm not so sure, excuse me. So this is a nice little soap. It lathers up well, although anytime I use a synthetic brush, I'm better off using that with creams, especially the ones out of the tube. But this one has a nice long handle that's great for that deep bowl. Some gentlemen uh, saw that bowl in my shave of the day the other day and they decided they wanted to get one too. I mean, it's a nice bowl, the timeless razor shaving bowl. Although when I went to their website, I didn't see it on there anymore. But other people have one that they're willing to part with. Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and do an on-camera appearance here, and I'll keep doing these as long as I can. I may even go back to doing them on the usual evening. Now, if you'll excuse me, somebody's at my door. Okay, it was time to flip the razor over anyway. Neighbor lady wanted to borrow a trash bag. It's perfectly all right. Currently, I am trash bag rich. <laughs> so. I'm 
Okay, we'll take a break there. I'll come back freshly lathered for a second pass across the grain. Now, I guess I can say I did have another neighbor that was giving me a little bit of trouble, but I don't know. I guess I can't say that that by itself would be the thing that would cause me to think I might not be able to do any more videos. They weren't complaining about my videos. It's somebody that lives on the other side of the complex that doesn't even know where I live, I don't think. And my garden's still growing nicely. The wildflowers are blooming. First they got really tall, most of them. The ones that like the sun, the shade-loving ones didn't grow as tall, but they're in the shade where they belong. And uh, oddly enough, they're the ones that are growing, or actually blooming the most, I should say. I cut myself there, gave myself a little weeper. I have to see how things go in the coming days, weeks, and months before I'll know much of anything about anything. Let's see. And I didn't, I didn't uh, go across the grain on my neck like I was supposed to. I went against it, I think. I'll have to keep that in mind. Let me rinse this again. Yeah, like I was saying, I uh, went the wrong direction on my neck. I'm supposed to be going across here. I've got things on my mind. So, okay, now I'll pop out, pop back in, freshly lathered uh, for a third pass against the grain. Okay, also hopefully not for the last time, it's our good friend Mr. Tao. Oh. Freshly laundered and freshly softened, Mr. Towel, at that. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. Pretty much a BBS shave. All things considered. A very good shave even though I was kind of rushing it and kind of not in a great mood, but it just goes to show you some fairly inexpensive product, some simple, very nice things, and you, you too can have a great shave. I'll put Mr. Towel back where he goes. I'll begin a brief recap. Oops, got him backwards. And uh, then I'll put the finishing touches on the shave. So. Put Mr. Tal here, and okay, my razor has been this three-piece, mostly Bakelite, Clex razor with a metal cap. This is an old razor, but very nice. And there on its first use, a Sputnik blade. It did bite me a few times, but it also gave me a nice close shave. My brush has been the official brush of this channel, the Conversational Shaving 
synthetic brush from Frank Shaving. This one has a G4 knot. I believe he has some with the new G5 knots available. Okay, and let's see. Uh, beforehand, I almost forgot to mention, I prepped my face with chiseled face natural pre-shave gel. And my soap was this Palmyra soap. It's a block of uh, white soap. It comes in this nice little paperboard container. I lathered in the Timeless Razor Shaving Bowl. Now I'm going to reach over here for some of the, I don't have much of this left, but the Roberts Rose Water. Very nice stuff. A nice toner. It's not an astringent. There's no alcohol. But I believe, well, there is some witch hazel and some other nice things in it. Plus a lovely but very light rose scent. And that feels very nice on the face. And toners are supposed to be good for the skin. There's uh, enough left in the bottle for one or two more shaves. Yep, I can hear it in there, so I'll save what's left of that. It's the Roberts Rose Water. And finally today I'm going to finish with just one thing only. It's the uh, Gillette. Um, it's aftershave gel. Very nice stuff. So, haven't used this in a minute. Just get a little bit there. That should be enough. It's kind of like a balm and an aftershave all in one. And this does have alcohol in it, so there could be some sting. A little bit. Especially in the areas where I nicked myself. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on the wrists, and I'll bid you adieu. Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully I'll be back next week or sometime in the near future. Peace.